Thank you for visiting our page. My name is Gary Stroud, sales manager here at Avalon Test Equipment. Before your video begins, I just want to give you a brief summary of the services that we offer. We guarantee 24-hour calibration on PIM, sweep, and fiber gear. Once it's in the door, it's out the door the next day. We provide certified training so your crews are properly educated. And we pride ourselves on last minute rentals and sales so you can test with confidence. And above all, customer service is our top priority. If there's any test equipment requirements that we can help be of service to, please contact us at sales at avalontest.com. Enjoy your video. Hi, I'm Nolan. I'm the calibration technician here at Avalon Test Equipment. And today I'm going to be going over the JMA Complete Compression Kit. In this kit, you will find the compression gun, the compression frame sets. This is a one half inch, the compression bits, some gator clamps, the cable cutters, and the different drill bits. This is a SP12S. You will also find a one half inch annular, a seven eighth inch, and a one five eighth inch uh, drill bit, depending on what cable size you're using. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a cable and go over some troubleshooting tips. For the first step of making your cable, you want to take your drill bit and insert it into a drill. This is an electric drill that is not included in the JMA kit. The drill bit should go into the front of the drill and it should make a couple clicking noises knowing the drill bit's locked in place. And then you want to take the front of your cable and insert it into the tip of the drill bit until it hits the back. And then you want to drill until the center pin of the cable is pointed with three exposed copper rings. Just like that, as you can see, there is a pointed tip with three copper rings below it. For the second step of making your cable, you want to take your gator clips. You want to make sure that the two sides of the gator clips are flush and flat in the center. There's no chips or cracks or anything. This will affect your cleaning process. Then you want to take the two gator clips and clean the center pin. Remove all the dielectric glue or any inner shroud until the center pin is completely clean. For the third step of making our cable, we are going to mark the cable and clean the center pin. For marking the cable, you want to put the connector side by side with the cable. And you want to show the center pin lined up with this black o-ring. And then you want to mark it with a sharpie. We're using a silver sharpie. And then you want to take your rubbing alcohol pads and clean the center pin and the three copper rings below it. This will help for a better compression and low pin. This is step four in the final process in making our cable. First, you want to take your compression bit. We are using compression bit A for our super flex cable and insert it into the frame set on the compression gun. And then you want to connect the two carabiners at the top. This will remove any play or movement while compressing. And then you want to take your connector and securely tighten it onto the cable until you've reached the Sharpie mark we previously made. And then you want to insert your connector into the compression gun, just like that. And you want to make sure at the tip of the connector and the compression bit that it's secure and not moving and it's flat and flush with the gun. And then after that you want to turn your gun on and compress the cable. After you compressed your cable, it should look something like this. Thanks for checking out our video on the JMA Complete Compression Kit. We have these kits available to rent or purchase. If you have any questions, please contact our legendary sales team. And remember, with Avalon, you can always test with confidence.